All right, here in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do uh, taping for plantar fasciitis um, and to support the foot and the arch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need your tape. Usually a uh, regular old athletic tape will get the job done. Um, this is a kind of a cloth-based one. It's a little different. Uh, I can send you a link if you want this one in particular, but usually any old athletic tape will get the job done. Pretty cheap stuff. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze myself in the video here so that you can see it. We're gonna start with the bare foot. Make sure that you're dry. Okay, so that way the biggest problem that we have with this is getting the tape to last. It always gets on there great, looks good for about five minutes, you start moving around, things start to loosen up. So the most important thing is prepping the tissue and making sure that you're gonna get a good stick with it, okay? Now the next thing that's important here is that especially the first couple times you do this is that you do not tape too tight. That is the problem because oftentimes when you do all of that good work and taping it and then you stand up and walk around, it's too tight and then you have to take it all off, it's a waste of tape, okay, and time and energy. So we want to start with a light application. You can tighten it up over time, okay, as you start to learn how to do this. So the other piece that we want to make sure of is that we have our foot and ankle in the right position. You do not want to let your foot relax fully like this and then place the tight tape on because it's going to be too tight when you pull your foot up when you walk around. So what we want to do is if you look down at your ankle, okay, so in this direction, I want my foot and ankle roughly to be at a 90 degree angle, okay? So if I'm at a 90 degree angle here, then when I apply my tape, it's not going to be too tight generally. So I keep my foot in that position. I'm not going to try to invert it or evert it too much. I just try to keep it straight at a 90 degree angle and that'll be good enough. So cloth tape is usually again the easiest for this application. Here I'm going to show you there's a couple of different ways to do this, but you'll get the gist of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is uh, toward this side of my foot, the bottom, because I'm going to wrap around the top. Okay. Now important here is that we see that this line right here, the knuckles of the toes, we're not gonna wrap over the top of that, okay? So we're gonna wrap right along there. Now actually to begin with, we can just make a little border here to make sure that that's the case. I could just stick a piece of tape right there as an anchor, okay? And that, and that way I know where I'm taping to. And then I just tear that tape and then I just lay it down like that. There's not really any stretch on that or anything else. It's just a nice little border. And let's just go ahead and do that the same on the bottom. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a little piece. Again, this tear very easily, but you wanna be careful not to wrinkle the wrap. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing like that. Okay, so now I have those two pieces, right? Because the tape is gonna go from there to there as my anchors, okay? So once those are there, we'll start the taping procedure. So what I'm gonna do, as I uh, had mentioned here, I'm gonna cut this in two different sections so you're not getting all twisted with the tape. So if I go from right here, that's the bottom knuckle here on the bottom part of the foot, and I'm gonna go wrap around to the back side of the, um, the heel. Okay, so make sure my tape stays down there real quick. Okay, and then I'm gonna tear it just like this. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda tug on that a little bit, make sure my foot's at the right angle, tug on it a little bit, and then just wrap it around the back side of the heel. Now this isn't gonna settle completely perfectly against the skin, that's completely fine for right now, okay? So you see where my foot, what it looks like right now, and that's not going all the way around the back side, just enough, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So that's going from here, and it's wrapping around a little bit, now we're gonna do the reverse, we're gonna do one here, and then we're gonna wrap it around here, okay? So just kinda get a rough estimate there of the tape, and then I'm gonna tear that, okay? It's gonna take you a few times to get good at this, by the way. My tapes are running away from here. So again, we go from here, just under the knuckle, right? Just like that, pull a little bit, and then wrap it around the backside again, just like that. So we did one going this way, now we're gonna go one going that way. Whatever's loose, see if it'll lay down to the best that you can, but don't put too much pressure on it because we're gonna catch it on the, the next pieces, okay? So we have our two anchors, we did one going this way, and we did one going this way. So you see we've got like an X in the middle of there, okay? Now, we can reinforce those, okay, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more in each of those crisscrosses, and that way we can get a little more support. Okay, so we go like that, and basically lays pretty dang close to the previous one that I did. I kinda offset it just a little bit, just to make sure, because in case one piece starts to come up that the other one doesn't come up, okay? Do the same thing on the other side, okay? And again, offset it just a little bit, okay? Just so I get a little extra support and boom, wrap it around there as well, okay? 
That is pretty much it for the tape. The rest of this that we do is just supportive tape on top of that, okay? So once you've got this kind of foundation set, that's most of the work. Now what we're gonna do, because this is popping up a little bit and isn't too tight, is we're gonna do cross strips. We're just gonna put strips like this going across the bottom of the foot, okay? So let's just start there at the bottom. And these are shorter strips because they're gonna go from that anchor to this anchor. You know, again, this sounds a little bit complicated, but when you start doing it, it's pretty easy stuff. Okay, so when I apply that just like that, I just kind of tug a little bit and then lay the pieces. And you're just literally doing that over and over again, working your way up the foot. Okay, push that down. Push that down. It's fun. My tape keeps running away from me. Push that down. Okay, and then it's just for demonstration purposes, we'll put one more on. You can go a couple more rounds if you feel that you need more support. Okay, so now we've got that pretty much taken care of. Now we're gonna do another round of support and there's two supports that I would do with this one. And this is all for just keeping the tape down so it lasts longer. Okay, I'm just going to do one up the side here because all those little strips that you went up this way, you're just going to lay a piece of tape right on top of that and then push it down nice and smooth just to get that to stick, right? So that it doesn't start popping up on the sides. All right, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the foot, which is always a little bit more challenging to do because it is on the other side. So what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to go like this, put it on the outside, and smooth that down, okay? Now the other area that tends to pop up is over the top. So I'm just gonna run a piece right over the top here. Okay. And you can stand and put weight on this foot when you do this piece, because sometimes it gets a little tight. You know, don't pull too tight on it, okay? It's very important. And again, that stops these pieces from flaring up again when you put your socks on and so forth, okay? But that's a fairly simple tape job there okay to do it's really anchor anchor run the loop here run the loop there one more loop one more loop and then the rest of it is taping these lines and then one support tape here one support tape here and then stick one on top presto okay now again that's the easy way of doing it you could always put more anchors on here I would go through just lay your tape down if any uh, pieces are picking up a lot or they look like they're gonna roll off then you can stick another strand of tape on there in order to get them to stick okay so when you put your foot on the ground you should feel as soon as your foot starts to load and pronate you can feel the tape preventing that activity so not bearing that full weight down okay so again when I do this for you it's gonna be a lot more sturdy and I use a lot of more, more reinforcement and tape but when you do this for yourself, this should be all that's necessary in order to get an impact. It's never gonna be as good as if somebody tapes it for you. Um, but again, with a little bit of practice, if you keep working on it, you'll get a little bit better at it to feel where the tape needs to be a little bit more supported or how, how much more uh, intensity you're gonna use on the tape. So when you're done, gently put your sock over it, stick your shoes back on, and then get that tape to last as long as possible. Hope that's helpful.